What's up everyone? I'm going to show y'all this 2008 Audi A4 2.0. This is the S-Line model with a six-speed manual transmission. Just got done changing the oil on it. See, it's an S-Line model. 2.0 turbo. It's missing the little Audi emblem from here. You can easily grab that from eBay or dealership, wherever you choose to. The Audi stickers there from the dealership. Most of the parts ordered from this car either come from the Audi dealership or Triangle Auto Parts here in Winter Park, Florida. Shout out to all the guys over there for always taking care of our needs. Uh, everything important was done on this car. Um, they're notorious for um, some overheating issues from uh, a water inlet pipe that comes on the back of the motor. Uh, thermostat, water pump, timing belt, things of that nature. They, it, here in the southern states in Florida, they tend to overheat a little bit and those are things that you want to make sure have been main, uh, maintenance. This is low mileage for the year. It's only uh, 134, I want to say. We'll see in a minute when I pop in there and pop the key in. I believe it's 134. Um, so it's really low mileage for a 2008 but it's still at a mileage where you want to make sure that some of these services were done um just got done washing it we've had bad weather here lately a lot of water rain puddles and things like that so i wanted to clean it up for the video um anyways uh i'm not sure if this is a factory tin or aftermarket tin it might be aftermarket tint because of the strip on the front but uh it's a quality tint no bubbles no peeling no anything of that nature um wanted to show you under the hood we'll go ahead and close this to show you what she looks like with the hood closed the fog lights do work headlights everything on this car works um, as far as lighting goes I like the clear corner marker lights I'll step up here on my trailer to show you guys this is a sunroof model step back down has some uh, Pirelli tires brand new in the front the back are in pretty decent condition matching also Pirelli um, we are again are looking at some s-line badging on the side there show you the interior everything's looking good in here seats and everything carpet no rips no tears this back bolster could use a little bit of glue we put some adhesive tape on there every now and then it still pops down and just needs to be pushed back up headliner in the back is starting to sag a little bit towards the back it's still nice and tight up towards the front I'll show you what i'm talking about the front is still nice and tight it's just back in these corners where it's starting to get a little soft show you a good aerial of the dash uh, that's a pot I got to put my iPad on and the cell phone holder um, that'll pop right out of there this is a six-speed manual S line on the steering wheel again um, this armrest bolster was pretty worn out went ahead and had that replaced Got your cup holders, got a cigarette charger there for charging one cell phone, and then got another one up front right there. Um, go ahead and put this back down. You got your storage compartment in there. Got another little small ashtray storage compartment back here. Got a lock button. Um, and that's everything behind the... the seat are still holding up like i said this is a little bit loose the glue right here is giving out but my minor little cosmetic issues like that nothing major i'm gonna open the trunk real quick give you a look in there this is the 2.0 turbo model a4 pretty spacious trunk you could fit a lot in there i got some jumper cables and some 
some plastic bag with some cardboard but you can see underneath it's all clean i do that to keep everything protected and then if you look underneath you got your full size spare you got your jack you got everything you need in there i just keep this covered up because sometimes i throw stuff in there and i want to keep the trunk protected you got some uh, coolant storage compartment a little goodies you can pack over here on the side the seats do fold down all the way on this so you have access to uh, carrying whatever it is you need to carry uh, got all the adjustments on the driver's seat electric door panel pretty comfy little car oh let me get in here fire this thing up I like these little flip keys that uh, Volkswagen and Audi makes. I was always a big fan of those. Not everybody is, but I like them. A lot of these newer cars have the push button with the fob, and I kind of prefer this other method. We're going to shut this off because um, everything works there. I just don't want my Bluetooth to connect to that. While I'm recording. And we're gonna put our seat belt on. This has got the side airbags and everything else going on safety wise. You got your tweeters, high, pretty high performance sound system in here. Uh, sunroof model, everything on the sunroof works. You got your sun visors with lighting on both sides. I'll put this flower back up here. Okay. Okay, odometer. We have a check engine light on for a EVAP code. I believe it's a 420 code. Uh, small evap leak very common dummy check engine lights stupid emission stuff nothing make you break down on the side of the road for uh mileage was i right 134 134.63 on the mileage all right we're gonna all the windows work too by the way and what i like about these windows is it's one touch and up and down by one touch you don't have to hold it one touch one touch i'm not sure if the back ones do it yeah i guess they are one touch also but they don't go down all the way they stop right there one touch back up I'll give you a view of the headliner sack from here. You can kind of see it a little bit towards the back there. Quick repair. You can pull those side panels down, spray some adhesive spray under there, get it nice and tight again, and still keep the same factory material. I'll put this emergency brake down. This is the six speed manual. So reverse is over and up. And you do push down for reverse over and up and there we are you can hear the blow off valve sound on it that lives at the bottom of this hill even though we are in a residential area we're gonna take it nice and easy don't want to attract any unnecessary attention cop 
lives in this corner house here. It's a fun little car. I've taken a few little trips in it on the highway. It just it's meant to perform on the highway. It's a highway car. No, no squeaks, no rattles, no shake or vibration in the steering wheel. Nice, firm, steady drive. Mechanically, uh, it's pretty well taken care of. It's not perfect, you know. I don't think I see people buy stuff in the auction for ten grand that needs maintenance done to it. Everything needs a little maintenance, um, but nothing to where I would worry about right away more of uh, upcoming preventative scheduled maintenance you would have like on anything you buy but nothing alarming now if the check engine light really bothers you you could take it into a local shop and have it smoke tested put a smoke machine on it and they pinpoint exactly where the leak is we already replaced the gas cap thinking it was the gas cap and um that the check engine light was cleared and it came back for the same code so it has another small emissions leak somewhere else it's a small leak not a gross large leak but it still needs to be addressed at some point it's not dire urgency and uh, again like i said i sell reliable cars not perfect cars if i fix every little knickknack on it then i gotta sell it for the high high dollar in order for it to make sense and i rather fix the important things that are going to keep you from having to call a tow truck to come to your rescue and let you worry about all those little knickknacks later on whenever you're ready to start handling them so again we sell reliable cars not perfect cars i don't do detail work Take it somewhere else to get a detail. About the most you'll ever see me do is a little water and soap and a vacuum. But this is ready to drive wherever you want to go. You can get on it, have a little bit of fun with it, and know that it'll handle it. Good, reliable little Audi.